Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. Uh, as you can see by the waypoints around here, I have been have been around, I've been looking around trying to see what I can find. I think I got just about everything. I got big nickel deposit over there. I found another iron somewhere. Uh, probably should get rid of those ones. Those are quite a ways away. Uh, I have been uh, checking into this uh, windmill thing. A lot of people have been suggesting trying to get higher and better clearance and whatnot, and these ones here, they're actually generating 367. Let me get to the terminal here. So as you can see, th three of them are about 365, 367. This one here, though, is good. And they were all four of them were actually optimal until I moved the one up top there. So I have a feeling that one up there might, be, might not be getting enough power or get enough wind. So I'm actually going to turn those off. they actually stop okay so it's that one right there and that's because it's blocked now because it built the structure up all right well so that's about a good enough height going up any higher than that doesn't seem to really do much uh, mind you I have thought about putting a whole row of them up there and having a grid come all the way down and connect to the base but that's a little overkill that's why we need uranium. Anyways, let's turn these back on. Uh, I have been busy getting a lot, a lot of stuff pr processed. Uh, actually, that's all got done. I got cobalt, nickel. I have been printing a ton of stuff, as you can see by the assembler. It's completely full right now. A uh, couple of things we need to do. One is uh, upgrade this to a main refinery, but I want to try to get better storage setup than what I had last time, because uh, this is... I'll call it a unified storage system. It doesn't matter what you say or what you put in what container. It's going to go wherever it wants. Doesn't matter where it is, or or what have you. Uh, on the server, uh, our cryopods are full of supplies. You can never find anything. You actually had to go to the terminal, and go through this long list of all these inventories, just find. Oh well, sh geez, there's two thousand plates there. Why are they there? Well, not over here. So I want to go ahead and actually start using these conveyor sorters to try to get better uh, uh, sorting. Not necessarily everything, but I want to have like just one container for plates, one for interior plates, one for motors, one for computers. So you know I don't have to go like this and you know, click on this and go through an entire list of things. Not now, but eventually. And uh, also try to keep any ores and ingots from getting into the system. And it's just going to be all about conveyors. Uh, unfortunately, with these containers, you can't exactly put them side by side because they'll they'll connect, they'll they'll transfer through. Uh, on the containers, I can't do it, but I know on some of the blocks you can disable the conveyor system, but then that defeats the whole purpose of this. So, as I said, I have been busy. Uh, I don't know if I want to set it up right here. Uh, probably closer the better. I went and tried to hit up a few more of these. What was that? I have no idea. Uh, more of those. Uh, oh, that was the scrap metal from the beacon. That's what I was trying to say. I hit up a couple more beacons. Didn't find much. I did uh, happen to get a, you know, a, a next tier tool, but I have gold and silver. So, oh yeah, I do, do have gold and silver. I went and opened up the mine there, so I can make the what was it? The proficient? Oh no, the enhanced. One of the two. The, the tier 3 ones but for what I want to build like now I know what the conveyor systems are gonna because I'm using the, the I'm gonna use be using the conveyor sorter yes that's the word uh, I could technically have all the bins on the floor but I don't want to do that I want to sort of have them staggered on a wall maybe two walls I figure I'm gonna need at least 12 of them I might go a little more and that's just gonna be for oh, come on let's get in here just for the, the stuff I'll be using a lot. Probably glass, computers, uh, construction components, displays, girders, interior plates, uh, large steel tubes, steel plates, and maybe a few others. Uh, the rest of it, like things like detective components and reactive components, I'm not going to worry too much about. Those can go into like a big, big storage system at the end because I'm not going to be going through tens of thousands of them. At least I don't think I will be. But anyways, where do I want to get this set up? Like we got the iron over there, I got the ice over here. Um, I was thinking about putting a couple in the floor. I don't know if 
I don't really want to be digging out the ground to do conveyors again. So I'm thinking, I think I'll probably just go over here. I don't really know how big it's going to be. Um, I guess I'll have to make the main room 8x8. Eight eight. Now I get 8 on one side, 8 on the other. Like I said, I can't have them on top of each other because then they'll just get filled up. So I have to get a block and I can bury a top and, and whatnot. But let me get a floor plan laid out and I'll bring you back. You know what I'm going to do before I start welding all those blocks together? I'm going to build this refinery. No, I was looking at this like, what happened? What, what happened to my blocks? And I realized I just put the frames down. Yeah, I had one of those moments. But let's go ahead and build a refinery here. Uh, I don't have to worry about crafting anything because I have built everything. So we go like this, we will put it. Uh, I forgot this thing was big. Uh, let's see, we'll go there. No, it won't. Hmm. Let me just stick it right on the side here. Sure. Alright, I gotta gather resources. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got it done. So now, I gotta. Let's see, basic refinery. Regular refinery, I'll drop you in there, and you in there, and I gotta go over here to actually put it in. And I don't need much, I'll swap it around, a little bit of gold, a little bit of silver, so I got silver and gold. Okay, now let's go make some new tools. Okay, inventory, where is the assembler? You in there, you in there, and give me some tools, please. Oh, yeah, okay, it should be cobalt there, it's just not showing because it's still in the refinery, the basic refinery. All right, tools. Okay, that's gonna be the container, so that can go in there. And uh, thank you. All right. So I'll be right back. All right, so here's what I got. I got a 10 by 10 for now. I was almost thinking of maybe trying to use utilize three walls, but two walls might work. I sort of do have an idea. Uh, I, I'm aware there's gonna be a lot of conveyor piping going in the back, but that's fine because I actually plan on having like the hydrogen tank and then the oxygen tank back there. I know I don't need the oxygen tank, but I'm gonna have it anyway. It's just because I gotta make the hydrogen, might as well take the oxygen for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, and have that sort of like, you know, you can almost call it like the, the bowels of the lab, for instance. You get all the steam pipes and the, the furnace ducts and stuff like that going. But anyways, so now let's go to, let's go here, we'll grab uh, a small container. Uh, I'm gonna color code the containers too as well. Now, it's gonna be, eight across I got this ten so I probably put the containers right about here. So, uh, I originally was thinking of having an offset in the interior plates, excuse me. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, the only thing I didn't actually make was this place. So it's gonna be one there, one there, so it's two or technically three, five, seven. That went too far. You wanna take that out and we'll Take some blocks. I should have left those on the bar. Uh, one of the things I gotta get in the habit of using is uh, the, the shortcuts for doing like quick coloring or uh, large area coloring. For instance, uh, right now I'm selected on red. If I want to change the color of the floor, uh, let's say we want to make the a light gray. Control Shift Middle Mouse. That's white, just like that. Uh, white's a little too bright though. I haven't decided what the color originally I was, I was going to try to go for like a bit of a brown color, but eh, I don't know. We'll try that for now. That seems okay. But you get the idea, and there's going to be another ones on the top, and then I'll bring you back for the, the sorting. Okay, so this is what I got set up. Uh, well, think about it too, I'm actually going to set up a return container in the center here, so... Uh, if I want to empty my inventory, I can put it into the container and it should, theoretically, file back into here. Uh, if you notice something different, like I got, I, it's all the same color, but I actually have like this frame here, except for this one spot. 
what I did is I uh, took the color that I'm using and I changed the values just a little bit like if I go into here brought the value up a little bit and the saturation down a little bit just enough to change the color to where it actually makes a technically a different color and actually creates that border and that's just to keep it unified because before it didn't have all these extra lines so it was just basically like the lines going around the containers and that was it but at least this works uh, I don't know about the color if anybody has any suggestions for a good color for this room please please let me know because uh, I have no idea I'm sure I'll figure it out I can just go all white or red and black and purple stripes down the side with the little green polka dots in the background should be good anyways uh, what was I doing here uh, yes conveyor connectors and I gotta get so, some supplies for this hang on conveyor sorters I mean but anyways yeah this is what I'm gonna use I'm gonna set each one of these to whitelist only a certain thing and go from there so that's gonna be there 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 no not there and like so, and of course it's going to be all hooked up with convey uh, conveyors afterwards. Uh, going into this, there's going to be another conveyor sorter. They do work as one-way gates. I have tried it. It is actually impossible to actually pull something through it. If it doesn't go through the way it's in the direction you're going for, then it's the only way it's going to come out. Or right, then you're not going to get it. But you get the idea. So this is going to be a little bit grindy. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get these all finished. And I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, I am back. I had to do a couple of runs over to Iron Mine now, which is no problem. So I was sort of thinking about how I want to do this. And because uh, there is no actual T sections, I've got to use the conveyor junctions to do this. So there's going to be a row of con conveyor junctions going around. And then it's going to go across the top, and then right here, there's just going to be a uh, elbow. So we're going to go ahead and grab a junction and an elbow, and hopefully I have enough stuff for this. So we'll go ahead and start with the junctions. Uh, I've been thinking about where I'm going to put this, some of I don't know, but uh, I'll also... Uh, you know, I'm thinking about the other container too, the or We'll call it the overflow, the odds and ends. Uh, I gotta make sure that I blacklist every single thing that I have in here just to make sure that they go in here, even though I'm gonna be whitelisting these. Because uh, these are actually really handy. I like this. You go in here and go down here, you can whitelist or blacklist. You can have a long list, you can choose like groups of things or like individual things, like for instance, steel plates. And I do this for just for my own sanity, we'll call it. Because, uh, as a lot of you know, I like to build big sometimes. I'm not afraid to use <laughs> use resources. I'm certainly not afraid to grind it out either to get said resources. But, uh, needless to say, when I do have a big project I want to take on, I want to make sure that I have enough to actually do it. That I don't have to, you know, farm for three hours just to spend another three hours building a project. Not that I complain or anything, I love the, love the whole automation thing. That's probably why I love modern Minecraft so much. But, as you can see, we're just like that. So this is going to take a lot of trips back and forth to my storage and assembler to get this all set up. Uh, yes, I do have the inventory increased, but I need a BC size inventory, a creative inventory. Just a black hole backpack is what I need. Something that can store like 20 million tons of materials. But I'll be back. Okay, I got everything all set up here. Uh, the last couple I just basically put, uh, what was it? Detector components, reactor components, and uh, what was this one? Thruster components. Everything is whitelisted, so as far as my understanding is, it'll only allow those particular items in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in. I had trouble get accessing those ones because the terminals are on the side and not on the top. Mind you, I could have rotated it to make it a little bit easier on me. But other than that, we are okay. Uh, what exactly is where, I can't quite remember. The only way I can really tell for sure is to flood the system. 
So we will do that eventually. Uh, I have been getting more parts made. So now the question is, if I want to have a return system, uh, my return pipe will have to enter into this block here because this is where it goes. If I put it in, down here in the line somewhere, actually it would still go in. That's right. Uh, what I will do though is trying to figure out which way I want to do it. I might as well just do it right here. Uh, yes, sir, this thing is going to be bulky and awkward, but hey, that's how I like them. I'm just putting this here to avoid backflow. So uh, let me get that finished. I'll bring you back. Okay, so this is what I did. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a con uh, container right in the floor. And I'm just going to hook it up with a conveyor system. It should, should get pulled in by this. It actually has to go out just a little bit more. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to go and uh, get, some, get some conveyors down. Uh, yes, we will be using those thrusters very soon. And yeah, so basically all I'm going to do is gonna go ahead and fill these in. Hook up to the container and I'll bring you back and we'll actually check to see if everything's going to go where it's supposed to. So I'll be right back. Okay, just like that. So that should take the get pulled in. Uh, I thought on some of them there's a way to actually force it to unload. I know on the, the conveyor sorters, I think it was. Something about being able to force it to unload. Uh, I have noticed that everything's red, so I'm assuming I'm going to have to get some power going. Uh, I haven't actually thought about what I'm going to do with the windmills. I'm thinking there's a spot right here. You know what, I'm going to come right up here and then uh, I'm going to end up moving those, put them up top somewhere once I get the right position, fill up my jetpack and then I'll bring you back while she tests the system out and see how it works. Okay, power to the people and we have green, we are good to go. Alright, so now the question is, let's see where those go. Do they get pulled? Probably won't get pulled because I probably have to put a... Uh, put something in there to pull them. Uh, I think there was actually configuration on these. Uh, drain all, yeah, so that's actually going to extract the containers. So I think that's what I got to do then. Uh, let's see, that is in there, so let's open up the floor, okay, and then, uh, oops, that's the wrong button, of course it is, it's me, I'm going to go in like this, I'm going to have to do sort of like a, sort of like a P-trap on this, okay, and uh, that out, I hate that double click sometimes, all right, and now we need a sorter, so we have seven, but this one is, which way is this going? Okay, that's that way. This has to be facing down, like so. And I need small steel tubes, and I gotta fill, fill in the conveyor. So let me get that hooked up, and I'll bring it back. Okay, I got it all connected. So the plates are still in there, so let's go and find that terminal. Where are you? You're somewhere here. Where are you? Come on. It's in here somewhere. Give me a second. I found it. All right, so again, we have 100 plates in there. If I go here and drain all, and they're gone. So now the question is, which bin did they go in? They should be in here. Ow. I forgot there was a hole below me. Okay, there's the plates. So let's try uh, metal grids. I know the grids are on this wall here somewhere. I will end up labeling everything. Okay, that is good. So where are they? I know. No. And honestly, there they go metal grids so that that's perfect so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear out my storage dump it here and then uh, we'll find out where everything ends up well so far everything looks pretty good 
So I got steel plates in here, and uh, again, I'm going by the top top inventory. So steel plates, interior plates, construction components, motors, computers, displays, small tubes, large tubes. What did I have this set for? Something I don't actually have. Oh, this was uh, for glass. That's girders. This was... Can't remember. Something I don't have. And so on and so forth. And then there's the metal grids. That's going to be, what was it? Detector components, reactor components, and thruster components. When the time comes. So next is to actually get the machinery hooked back up here because I got no power over there. And uh, uh, very interesting with these conveyors. Like I have the assembler and the storage container like connected with the containers but because there's absolutely no power I can't even transfer block to block I actually have to go into the other block to pull it out so that's that's an interesting one uh, let's actually see how many plates I have uh, I would like to get some sort of setup going get some production going I will have to get some more iron sooner or later uh, yeah I was a little sloppy with this one um, but as far as mining goes, oh, I went blind there for a second. I sort of have an idea of something I want to try. I'm not going to be trying to fly, fly in and fly out with a whole load of stuff. Uh, probably go. Eh, we might go flight worthy. I don't know, but I want to sort of have like a, sort of a, a conveyor, a temporary conveyor set up inside the mines. It's, like below the pocket of where I'm mining so all I have to do is just dig and dig and dig and have a collector at the bottom that just pumps it right through uh, a connector port into whatever vehicle I have there I can bring it over here dock it down just have it unload right into the refinery process it and then between the refinery and the assembler there's going to be um, uh, buffer storage I'll call it just where all, where all the ores go that don't fit into the assembler uh, again, I'll be using the conveyor source to keep everything organized, but let me do a little bit of expansion here and I'll bring you back for that one. Okay, so I just got a little pad here extended. Uh, for now, I might make it a little bit bigger. Uh, so what I gotta do now is I gotta go and take the refinery down and the assembler. I might... Yeah, because I got stuff I gotta throw in there too. Uh, depending on how much room I have, so I'll just grind this down. And gone. I didn't have enough inventory space. Right, it's fine because I left this here. Uh, put that there for now. I don't think that takes up a lot of room. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's 1,200 plates. I forgot about that. All right, so I want to have the refinery in the back here because this is where the loading area is going to be. It's going to be sort of like, like I said, it's going to be the, the bowels area where all the conveyors are going to be and the machines and like the refinery. Uh, the refinery is a block I will not have to access. Uh, the assembler technically don't have to because every terminal all I have to do is just go to the production tab and go with that. But uh, let's get the refinery down. I also want to do the same thing with... Uh... Actually, hold on. No, the assembler's got to be somewhere else. The assembler's got to be first. Uh, assembler with the container before the refinery. So let's see, where should I put the assembler? Let's put the assembler right here. And let's see here. I probably have enough to actually build it on me. If I don't, it's all in storage right here. I will have to get some labels in there. Uh, as far as upgrades, I don't know if I want to end up putting upgrades on this thing. But maybe do it like that. Let's see here, because I want to utilize the conveyors. There's one on the back, but that's going to be the output. And there is one there. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll drain it. I think it has to be right on the block for it to work. So... Hmm... Yeah, I guess I would like to have it down like that. But at the same time, too, I don't want it sideways. Let me think of what I'm going to do here. Okay, 
I know what I'm going to do. Since I like my conveyors, I am going to... One second, I'm going to have... Where is this one going to go? Let me think. No. Nope. Hang on. Hang on. I'm going to put some stuff away. Ah, oh, jeez. Get rid of those tubes for now. The other ones that take up the inventory space, i got to hurry before those plates despawn. So, what I'm going to do is probably don't need to take out this much. Or that. Uh, I'm going to put a... Well, actually, don't really need this here. Save on resources. How about it? Well, I'll just do it anyways. Nope. Uh, actually, let's uh, grab uh, that color. Thank you. And I need interior plates. But anyways, I'm going to have it come down here. It's going to have to go under one. And then I'm going to have a... I think it was here. That's where the conveyor is going to be. The conveyor port. So I'll have a, another sorter on drain all on the assembler. So any finished products get pulled right into the system right away. So I don't have to look for stuff I've printed that's still in the assembler. But anyways, uh, let me take care of that. I'll bring you back. It appears that I've run out of construction components. So that means i got to get the assembler back down. So this is not how it's going to go. It's going to go that way. Yes. Like that. And it's not upside down. Good. And I need construction components. Damn you. I'm going to have to go use the... Nothing. I don't know what I'm talking about. No, I have a saw. And what is actually in there? A lot of iron. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to do it this way then. Just because I don't want to lose the iron, I want to quickly move this over. That didn't actually take up as much room as I thought it would. All right, and down drops the bin. Good. Hopefully that doesn't despawn, and I don't think it will. And there we go. I need iron. I don't have any iron there. Because I got a basic construction component, so I can actually finish that conveyor connector. Or uh, conveyor sorter. Yes. That is the word. Uh, as far as the refinery goes, I probably won't have an auto f an auto pull or auto uh, extract. Uh, d doesn't really matter if I'm going to be processing something really fast, then I might have to move it manually, but that is not the issue. Let's go ahead and make 100. Why not? And now the best thing is, is I can queue up a whole bunch of stuff while I'm going to do mining other stuff and it's going to end up in these containers so I don't have to go through the assembler to see where it is and the whole nine yards. Uh, oh, I can actually access it from here. No, I can't. Well, I can, but steel tubes, steel tubes, steel tubes. Uh, I almost don't need signs. I know where everything is. But I want to put signs up anyways. Uh, what I may do is I might try to see if I can find some colored pictures of these things, like the, the the plates, the motors, and all that stuff, and maybe even put pictures up there. If not, it's going to be signs for sure. Now, i got to get to this stupid thing. There it is. All right, so this is just going to be a drain all. Okay, now let's give this a whirl. All right, what do we need? Uh, Actually, I need supplies in here. Give me a second here. Actually, we got to get this refinery up and built before those plates despawn. All right, so that's going to be the ejecting. Uh, Entrance is into the refinery is going to be on the assembly. It's going to be on the top. Uh, I will have. Oh yeah, I want to have a container. So stick a small container down. That's number eight. Oh, I need plates, interior plates. Uh, let me get the rest of this set up. I know we're running a little along here, uh, but I'm going to get the conveyor, the container and the refinery set up, and then we'll try to do a little bit of automation, see the sorting, and I'll bring you back. We'll go from there. Okay, here we go. This is it. Uh, the big refinery. 
that is connected. I do have this port going to this container. And then what I've done is an elbow, conveyor sorter going into the assembler. And then that way the assembler doesn't feed back into the refinery or into this container here. And then it gets pulled out, goes into the system, and so on and so forth. So I do need to get the rest of these supplies. What do I need? And we are plates. Let's see if these things are still here. That would be R. Awesome. Not that I care. I want to have so much iron in no time. I get construction components. I probably have to craft more of those. So far, this has been pretty good. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'm going to get into the habit of whenever I'm around, that I'm getting stuff. As long as I have resources, try to get like a hundred of everything craft and just so it's always there. Oh, large steel tubes. Yes. Yes. There we go. And, oh, grids, 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 uh, grids, oh, oh, am I out of grids? No, just don't know where they are. Okay, there we go, perfect. Uh, the only thing is, is for now, I will have to manually feed stuff in there until I get something set up. But, uh, now let's give it a test run. I'm going to get all my ores in here and get all my inventory straightened out and we'll check it out. Actually, there's one thing I want to check because I put something in there by mistake that I didn't want to. I want to see what happens. If it's got no... Shut up. If it's got nowhere to go, does it pull it out? Give it a second. It does. Where did it go? That is a good question. If I were Sylvan, where would I be? Probably not in any of these containers because I've got them all whitelisted. So where did it go then? I'm wondering if it actually put it in the plates. The plates would be the line. Those don't have storages, do they? Uh, let's see here. I think they do. Yeah, let's see if we see any silicon in here. Yeah, goes into the sorters. Well, in that case, we're going to have to put an overflow at the end. We'll just stick, stick another container here. Uh, let me do this and I'll bring you back. Okay. Yeah, it did go through. So that's good. That means that any anything that doesn't go through into these should go in there. Now the question is, actually, let's clear up my inventory. I want to see if anything actually makes it in there. Uh, if it comes down to it, I might have to blacklist everything. But we'll, we'll come across that hurdle when we get to it. So I'm going to go ahead and stick ores in here while I'm waiting for that. And see what else I got over here. Ow. Okay, got that. Oh, yeah. Got all that iron, too. Nice. Okay, and go up here. Put all this back in here. I think I'm missing some iron unless I put it in here. Yes, it's in there. Okay, now the only thing that I sh want to see in this container is silicone. How did that get through? I'm sorry. I put that in there. I went in here, oh, because it's auto-pulling. Alright, well, we can't do it that way then. Okay, we'll try that again. Well, at least all the supplies went in there, because they actually had somewhere to go. What I could do, if I really wanted to, is I could have a, a feedback system. 
So if anything ends up in here that's supposed to go into the refiner into that storage, it gets automatically fed back through. So if I put orders in here by mistake or uh, ingots, processed materials, they'll end up in that storage container. But since I've just disabled that, let's put this back in here and see what happens. So far, so good. And let's check over here. Okay, only silicon so far. All right, well, uh, let me let me get some signs up. I'll try to figure out what I had in all these spots, and I'll bring you back in the morning. Okay, I did figure it out. I did figure out what I had to do. So what I did is uh, I did keep it to drain all, but I blacklisted ingots and ore. So anything that I craft in here from these gets ejected. Everything else stays in there. So I don't have to worry about anything that I'm using get, getting pulled out of there or anything in here getting pulled out of there and sent to the little box of wonders over there. But anyways, I think we're going to call this one here. I just looked at the time. We're running a little longer on this episode, which is nothing new to me. Some, but hey, some people like the long videos. Some people don't. But it is what it is. Uh, next episode, I think we're going to... Yeah, next episode, we're definitely going to work on getting some hydrogen production going on back here. Uh, we're probably going to have to expand this pad a little bit. We'll get some more conveyor set up. Uh, some more conveyor networking set up. And then, uh, like I said, some docking stations. And then we'll attempt to do a little bit of mining and hopefully maybe even more we'll take a visit up there see what we can see what we can find uh, i do have some ideas i want to try to do uh, we'll see how it works but we'll figure that one out in the next episode oops <laughs> anyways uh thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did leave me a like and i'll see you in the next one later <laughs>